the the reason I didn't like my job, it was because of the environment. Mm-hmm. And I had unrealistic expectations. If someone somebody would just would have told me, Zach, hey, just sit here, work your tail off for five years, get developed into something. Um, you know, I would I would have had a different perspective. But mm-hmm. there's all this I call I, I heard this name, it's called wealth porn. You know, there's all these social media <laughs> influencers out there yeah. that are flashing their stuff. And I made this much and grow my, join my program in the next three months. You could be this and that. Yeah. And it totally sets people up to fail. Mm. And so, you know, realize it's going to take some time. Why do people fail? Because they're scared to death. <laughs> That's, I mean, I've looked at this over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. And there's this beautiful book out there. My, actually, my coach and I were just uh, talking about this because we're putting on a big, um, a big retreat down here in Columbia, South America, mm-hmm. and you know we're charging money for it, and it's it's um, a, a considerable amount of money, and so it's like new for us uh, to do that. And it's not about business; it's about awaken your purpose. Fear, right? Well, how do you mitigate the fear? How do you conquer the fear? Well, you walk through it. Mm-hmm. There's no other way. There's absolutely no other way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're making me think of some some biblical terms when you say something like that. Like when the, oh, uh, the, the Bible, <laughs> you want to learn how to live your life. Go, go read the Bible. I mean, all those, um, I mean, there's so many, so much wisdom from the, yeah. from those, you know, not just the Bible, but from any biblical, you know, there's lots of different religions. Yeah, they they were literally trying to tell you how to survive life. <laughs> That's my perspective yeah. of it, right? So here go my last question for you, Zach. Man, I'm gonna let you get on to your busy day, man. I appreciate you coming on. Uh, so tell us, Zach, what are some of your future endeavors besides the ones you just told us about that's happening in Colombia and your game? I could I could spend the rest of the day creating. With this. <laughs> <laughs> so here's my vision: I want to create a college campus. Mm. for entrepreneurs, for business owners, for, for people that want to live an amazing life. Mm. I don't care if it's a job. I don't care if it's, I don't care how you make your money. I want you to live an empowered life in all aspects of your life. And I want to have personal development. I want to have finance. And uh, I've created this business model, finance, operations, sales, and marketing. I want to teach people the skills of creating a life, uh, how to set, create a purpose. Like all of these life skills that I've had to pay a lot of money to learn, I want to, and, and I see it, you know, just like Indiana University right up the road from you, but mm-hmm. it, it being a online campus, it's like, oh, mm-hmm. what, what course are you taking? What are you training and developing yourself in all around the ultimate thing called your purpose, right? What is your purpose here? And then help them fulfill their purpose. And so uh, I want to build actual schools and churches all around the world, like mm-hmm. physical ones. I think myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to check it out, man. So, uh, Zach, man, it was cool having you on, man. I appreciate you having on the show. Uh, and, and the other points you want to give us before you leave, man, man, a lot of wisdom, man. Oh, I, I could. So here, here's what I want to tell people, right? I'm going to give you five tools to live an extraordinary life. Okay. And the first, all you really need is the first three. But the other two is so. It's the principles that I live my life by. It's the principles that we've built, learn and grow rich by. And the first one is intention. Mm-hmm. Why are you Why are you here? Why are you listening to this podcast? What are you doing with your life? The second one is personal responsibility. If you take personal responsibility for your life and you know where you're going, there's nothing that can get in your way. The third one is integrity. What does that mean? That means do the right thing, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Do the right thing by the people that follow you and by the people in your community, and you will live an extraordinary life. Fourth one is dream big. Fifth one is do the work. There's no shortcuts. Man. Hey, you heard it here. Five things. He said all you need is the first three. You have been listening to the